I fight one guy? Yeah, you yeah. can fight this guy. Do you want to fight this guy or do you want to fight an earlier guy? I'll, I'll fight this guy. Okay. Go sit. Go sit. I don't know what the guy controls guy. are. Uh, here, before you start, yeah. you know, punch left and right. Okay. Uh, if you want to punch somebody in the face, Okay. down is duck. And left or right are dodging to the sides. This okay. Guy. If you get a star, <laughs> which you get sometimes, yeah, that's the special punch. That's that button. The A button for the special punch. If you okay. earn, we have to earn those though. Okay. And oh, I was like, yeah. I'm watching you. I'm saying I know how you're supposed to do it. That doesn't mean that I will do it correctly, but we'll see. <laughs> Jay's giving her a shot. This is Jay, everybody. All right. Jay's getting punched in the face. Oh. It's not looking good for the Jayster. The Jayster? Never say that again. Okay. Never say that again. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Jay is completely failing. I, I just, yeah. Can I get up? One, two, one, two, three. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. I apologize, Jack. <laughs> Jay, Jay, he's our man. If he can't do it, then Rich will. <laughs> See, now I just did what I was making fun of you for doing. Right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Oh. oh, we got a star. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's this shit. Ah, fuck. Ah, shake probably... the remote, shake the remote. Shake it, shake it out. Why am I shaking it? Sometimes you can actually get a last chance. Oh. He'll put, the, he'll put his leg down and he'll fall. And it's really, it's really awesome. But then you lose anyway. Oh. If you have that, you suck. All right. Mike Tyson's punch It's just punch out now, but yeah. They don't have Mike Tyson associated with it. For some reason. Oh. Because he raped a woman. Ray Rice's punch-up. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one more time. Here. No, that's a good joke. That's that, good. That's a good joke. Because he punched a woman. There was another football player. He beat his kid, Adrian. No, no, another one. Uh, another one from the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. Who beat his wife and his 18-month-old child. I was just reading the news story. Book. Oh, fuck it. Sometimes they get too loud. Oh, oh. 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 That's a terrible joke. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck it. 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 Like what what if you heard that Aaron Rodgers did something terrible like that? Oh, that would be yeah. that would be horrible. That would be very bad. That would, would be very disappointing. Yeah. Would, would you? My question is though: Would you still be able to root for him oh, as a player fuck. on on Sunday? No. No. no probably. Not. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Not. Well, uh, depending on what they did. Are you talking about physically? Yeah. He cheated on his taxes or something? Like that? Oh yeah. <laughs> You'd probably cheer him up. Fuck! Punched a woman, no? If he did anything... I've grown to hate this. Oh! oh, oh you did it! Jay. Holy shit! You did it! You did what Jack One, could not! Two, All right! Fuck you, Rick! <laughs> oh, wait, he's getting up. That fucker. Shake it, shake it, shake it! Shake it! Oh. I'm shaking it! <laughs> no. Shaking it like a Polaroid picture. Do you want, do you want just for, before you leave, do you want to try one of the easier maps? No, that's okay. Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm taking over. <laughs> we, we've seen too much of, of, of this guy, Ugh. and I need to step in and, and settle things down. Oh, God. Settle down. So who's the main boss if it's not my Tyson? Uh, Mr. Sandman. Who oh. looks suspiciously like Mike Tyson. Yes. Oh, really? But yeah. it's not like that. Yeah. It sounds like he's saying Dyson like vacuum. Dyson. The bagless. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, the same characters as the original punch Uh, there's some new ones, but yes. Yakim. Yakim. 
The audio is better than the first one. Oh. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Well, I was I was tapping buttons obscenely quick. And and in the crotch area, like something else. Oh my! Bye 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 Jesse. Did he just leave? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're, hey, Jesse. I'm, I'm being distracted by friends. You're, you're good at jokes. Thanks. Why do I have friends? <laughs> He's talking about this. Oh, I thought you did. Wait, What? What? Uh, magic happened. Oh, that's funny. It was funny. It was good. Bye. Bye. Good. 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 Ayo! Attack room. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Those white people. It's true. Let's see here. Yeah, no, they're gone already. One, Finally, two, those guys. Three, four, five. Oh, by the way, this isn't Jay anymore. It's been rich for a while. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone was saying Jay has gotten farther than any of us. No, Rich has taken over. Rich actually knows how to play this game. Do I take the next one or should I just keep going? I mean, no, I, I will suck. Spices sure, next time you want to. Yeah. Oh, oh, that dick! Disappearing and shit like an asshole. Fucker. That <laughs> fucker. Bad fuck face. For what? How? Uh, what do you want to do? I'm feeling better. You feeling better? A little bit better. Great if Rich is feeling better, fight. like you think another hour? Maybe. Then we can end up here. Wait, Jackson, get another snack. I don't know if just the power of Punch Out has <laughs> has revitalized me. You gotta see Don Flamenco, Jack. Fuck it. Don Flamenco. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. For the title. Oh, look at him. He's actually he's easier than, than Great Tiger. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Pain in the ass. I'm gonna kick Don Flamenco's fucking ass. Okay, alright. What? Never forget. What? Never forget what? Carl Winslow is a shitty trainer. He does look like Carl Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> if I ever get trapped in a building with a bunch of terrorists, though, I know he's got my back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. The power of punch out. So next time you get a call, you just play a couple rounds yeah, of punch out. I'll be fine. And you'll be fine. They need to make more of these. Why didn't, why didn't they make another one after this? Well, you know, they make them when they, when they think they got some. Because, like, you can still play this. They don't need to make another one, right? Are you just gonna. Oh my god, what? What? I know what I'm doing. Rich, you are. My timing, my timing is perfect. You are fucking him up. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, that was incredibly impressive. Shut the fuck up, Rich. Oh, shit, I forgot about the last one. What? The you got delayed punches, and with Don Michael, you can catch him in an infinite loop. Oh my god, is everyone taking fucking notes? This is amazing. This is amazing. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my I god. Beat his you beat his toupee off. You beat his toupee off. Uh oh. Now he's a different beast. <laughs> oh. Can you no longer get him in the loop? Or? Will I be able to hear him? Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at you see that. Rich. Rich is the best. <laughs> hey, KJTBA, thank you for subscribing. You subscribe because Rich is fucking <laughs> rocking it at Punch Out. Uh, Punch Out hype? God damn it. I think we're gonna go th at least go through all the fighters. I mean, in this game. I mean, we got to do it. Well, and we'll try a little multiplayer. Mm -hmm. We'll try a little multiplayer. I mean, Rich will win. But <laughs> hey, this game does something neither of the original two do. Hey, you'll you'll see that when we get to now, it. Let's okay. Down the next circuit. Hit it, kid, hit it. Come on, more bike riding. This is the only cutscene you approve of. This is the only cutscene I approve of because it reminds me of Rock. Cut the training montage. Cutscene Jack approved. The world is about to end. I approve of two cutscenes. This one and the one in original Punch-Out. Okay. <laughs> Rich equals Punch-Out Jesus. That's true. That's true. <laughs> some, of the, some of the later guys, I'm going to be rusty. <laughs> Oh my god. Did, did he just did, did he just walk away? Yep. Who's this? Aaron Ryan? He's from the Super Nintendo one. Oh yeah? From Super Punch Out, yeah. Okay. Oh he's Irish. Yeah. Oh. He cheats. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm Irish. I find this offensive. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Eh. Exactly. I'm I'm some fraction Irish and I don't give a shit. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, nice. He's flying, Ryan. <laughs> Come on. Quinsomniac. First of all, great name, Quinsomniac. Uh, secondly, uh, thanks for subscribing. We appreciate it. Nice one. Nice one. I don't, I don't even have to button mesh. I'm in full One, fucking health. I'm just gonna two, stand here. Three, four, <laughs> I got I got this shit on six, lockdown. Seven, <laughs> I'm lockdown, motherfucker. Rich, you're unstoppable. Oh man. Jesus Christ. 
your machine. This is all getting me back from Mario Kart, and I and I'm okay with that. Oh my god! What the fuck is he doing? His head button there. He's a cheating bastard. <laughs> Timing! Yeah. That cheating bastard. Uh oh, going round two. Going to round two. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Nearly flawless. Nearly flawless. Oh man. <laughs> Rich Evans. He's more machine than man now. <laughs> That's cute. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a good point. Like you called uh, his headbutting cheating as if using teleporting magic wasn't cheating. <laughs> Are there are there rules against teleporting magic? Are there rules against headbutting? <laughs> yes, yes, there are. I don't know. I don't know anything about boxing. I can only assume that there are rules against teleporting in boxing. I don't think they thought to do that. Or if they didn't, someone would make that rule, right? Nice, nicely done. Beyond Infinite says, hey, Richard Jack, I'm wearing my Punch-Out t-shirt today. Congratulations. I would like to have one. You would like to have a Punch-Out t-shirt? <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> Did we make a Phantom Menace reference? I don't think so. We might have. We say a lot of things. We do say a lot of things. Someone is saying that there is definitely rules against headbutting. Yeah. I'm, you know, I don't know. There's not much I know about Bakken. Get him, get him! No, oh. no that's not time, that's not time. I'll get him, I'll get him. <laughs> Helicopter, the rules don't say a dog can't box. But I, I, I'm willing to bet you that nobody has written a rule against teleporting. They just don't exist because nobody can do it. So if somebody ever figured out how, through meditation to teleport, sure. then it would be perfectly valid. There's probably a rule about leaving the ring. But you don't necessarily leave the ring. You're just teleporting to another spot in the ring. Uh, that's, you know, I suppose. In, in this game, though, he disappears and then reappears. So that would be leaving the ring. Uh, everything is a Phantom Menace reference, that's true. The Indian guy was saying Dioxin, not Dyson. Bye-bye! Oh, what? Sorry. Oh, you won? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> this is a fun game. Yes! I love this game. Yeah, okay. This is a fun game. This is this is a fun game night. Not less so for you, because you, you despise no more heroes. <laughs> That just hurt my soul. Roll, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, you found chirping. That's your title. Isn't that nice? But it hurt my soul. I apologize. Later, later when we play Team Fortress 2, you'll think it's like, ah, it's a mad game, and that'll hurt my soul. Now I'm yeah, fine. yeah. <laughs> we all have, we all have our. Oh my God! Is Mr. Sandman just in the center? Soda Popinski. Come on. So the Babinski. What was his What was his name in the arcade? Like, in the arcade, it was Vodka Drunkski. Vodka Drunkski. Come on. Come on. Nintendo. <laughs> mm. Oh my God. What is your name? See how it shows up here. Oh, okay. Okay. Gabe. Cauldron 1996 just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Happy 
have some emoticons. They're great. Jeez loves you. Being distracted from punch outs. Oh, I apologize. Ugh. You can give uh, a big word up for my main man Jeez <laughs> for, for the sub pipe. <laughs> Uh, I think the birthday boy said that looked like the pre rec studio. It did, it looked like the half in the bag set. <laughs> One, two, three, KJTB8? You, you do, you have a pizza roll. You're, you're a sub, are you a new sub? Congratulations! Welcome to the subscribing. Have a pizza roll. Yeah, there's my main man, G's. <laughs> Um... Two, <laughs> it's too easy. They're just too good at games. Uh, Jay and Jack have not talked about the AVGN movie yet. We will on another stream. Maybe next week. If we if we have a group stream next week Wednesday and Jay is around. We need some time. We need some time to discuss it. Because, you know, there's some stuff to discuss. Yeah. You knocked the fucking bottle out of his hand? Yeah. You asshole! Why am I an asshole? He wanted, he wanted to share He's drinking during a fight. No, he, he chugs that down. He gets more health. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Oh. I had to knock it out of his hands. It was self-defense. <laughs> a uh, John Kilo says a quick glance at the new Jesus icon. Uh, looks like a gorilla from the original Planet of the Apes. I agree. It was tough. <laughs> It's tough to cut out his head because there was like a shadow behind his head where, where the cross was. So I wasn't quite sure where the hair ended and the shadow started. So Jack, can you hand me my snot bucket? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to take a picture of Rich's <sighs> snot bucket and put it up on the Twitter later. Because you guys need to see that. <laughs> on touch, baby. On touch. That's something even land a punch. The next fight might not be so easy. Um, SOS is the best SOS song. I agree with that, by the way. SOS is the best yes. SOS song. That one's fun. That one's the most fun. That's before it gets crazy town. Why am I a serial killer now? You're a what? Rich Evans is a serial killer. You've been killing everyone in the ring. All right, all right. I'm not leaving them <laughs> quite dead, just mostly dead. Oh, that's a good question. Where did you guys get that raccoon sweater that shows up in all the in all the uh, red letters? I games? don't really know where that came from. That's originally. a great sweater. I'd have to ask Mike or Jay that. I'm assuming they just found it at a thrift store and were uh, awed by it. Would be my guess. Was the first appearance in the Space Cop? First, that's the first time I ever seen. It. it was in the it was in the original Space Cop trailer. Yeah. And then Laura wore it in in the Great Space Jam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you about my iced coffee again because it got cold. Now I'm just making regular coffee. Three star punch. Yes. Jesus Christ, Rich. You are a magnet. I can't believe how good you are at this game. Yeah, it's easy. I can't believe how good you are. Um, I will tell you, like we go thrift store shopping. I go thrift store shopping. I know Mike and Jay do the same to look for props all the time. I, I don't, I won't say weekly, but a couple times a month, I, I go to Goodwills, and uh, we have this great thing in Wisconsin, in uh, southeastern Wisconsin called Seven Mile Fair, and it's basically, oh my god, Rich, you're the best! <laughs> uh, Seven Mile Fair is literally a giant garbage rummage sale. I go to Seven Mile Fair all the time. Um, and we do that looking for props, looking for costumes. Now this is this time to make this. Oh, I got him! Yes. Did you just beat him? Yep. Yeah. In like a minute and ten seconds? Yep. Yeah. You're the best. <laughs> gets gets much harder than this. I would I would absolutely believe that. I would absolutely believe that. Um. 
Oh, is someone asking about the, the picture of Rich as a baby? That's a picture of Rich as a baby. <laughs> I, I would need a little bit more practice. I'm, I'm kind of rusty. I would need more practice at this before I could really do a speed run. Oh my god, I wonder how fast you could do this. I don't know. In just, in just I, I, I would need to, to reacquaint myself with the game. Super Macho Man? Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Yeah, this guy's a fucking joke. Whose house is the Plinket house? Do you mean the set? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rich is definitely going to speed run this game. Picture of the old lady. I don't know who that picture of the old lady is. Are you ready? Because I'm going to put on a show. Picture of the old lady? What picture? I don't know. John, John Kilo, I'm not a hipster. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Elvis Delvis says, when are we going to get shirts, mugs, etc. of Baby Rich? That's a good idea, and I will mention that to Jesse the next time I talk to her. That is a really fun idea. Your baby picture on t-shirts. <laughs> I bought one. You do <laughs> Super Macho Man is hilarious. Look at him. <laughs> it sounds like he's saying, my balls. Ho ass ho would wear a baby red shirt. You guys, we are officially on it. We are officially on baby red shirt. Jack, you go to Mars Cheese Castle? I love it. I've actually... This might speak poorly of me as a Wisconsinite. I've never been to the Mars Cheese Castle. <laughs> I, this, this is the guy before the belt, and he has to touch me once. Right? He has to touch me fucking once. It's... Ah! I was, uh, I was talking! That doesn't count! I was talking! <laughs> Come up and rich! Them some come up. Yeah, yeah, it is. No. Super Macho Man. Jesus Christ. God, you're wrecking him. Ah! Ah! Get up! Now I'm mad. You gotta get him. Now I'm mad. Now I'm fucking mad. Fucking get him, man. Round one. Nice. Nice. Fucking, he fucking knocked me down. <laughs> yeah, bragging gets smacked down. That's how it yes, works. That's exactly how it happens. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Rich is a Greek tragic hero, and hubris is his fatal flaw. Oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it's fun. <laughs> Enjoy the. What? I don't know, literally, Jay, I don't know what it is with people who post the same question over and over again. I mean, yeah, sometimes we, we just don't. We, we, you know, we can't read the chat, and so posting the same question might get us to read it. Uh, other times, we just have no interesting response. Exactly. So we, we don't feel the question. Sometimes, yeah, if you just... We just have nothing to add to your question, so we don't answer it. So... Oh my god, you're at Sandman. <laughs> it's time for Mr. Rape. Oh, man. <laughs> well, 
Rock Knight X. I'm sorry that I've never read any of your questions. Sometimes the chat goes by a little too fast. Um, can I get any comment on the notion of putting hot sauce on a sandwich? I have very strong feelings about sandwiches, and I'm okay with hot sauces in general, so do what you gotta do. If you feel like a uh, hot sauce is an appropriate condiment for your sandwich, I say go for it. So, I don't know, you know, that's all, that's all up to you. Some people aren't hot sauce fans, but, you know. You do what you gotta do. Shit! Shit! <laughs> oh god. Can you read my question? <laughs> Says liquidish form and inform. Also, if you have a really fucked up name, it's hard for me to read your question because you have a really fucked up name. All bad things come to an end, Mac Baby. How'd you do? How'd you do? Um, we're, we're, we're one knocked out of this. Uh, have you shot the next pre rec yet? We shot a little bit today. We shot a little bit of the gameplay today. And now Rich and I are going to go home and play the game individually. And then we'll shoot the discussion, I don't know, sometime soonish. Soon so. you played it a lot more than I have, so I really want to get some time with That's it. That's true. Captain Jack Off Swallow says, read my name, Jack. Is it because you have a, a name that alludes to, to coming and reading it? Drink, shut up. Um, Ken Fan for Life says, Jack, are you jealous of Rich's stardom? Uh, I am jealous of Rich's awesomeness at Punch Out. I wish I was this good at Punch Out. Yeah, we're speaking too soon here. God. Alright, alright, alright. Almost there, almost there. Yeah. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. Someone is asking, uh, it says, uh, someone is asking what the usual process for making a pre rec episode is. Uh, first we decide on the game, obviously. Um, usually the first time we play it will be the, the recorded time, the, the time you guys see here in the screening room. Um, then we each play the game individually, and we come back and have the discussion. It's that easy, and then I edit it. Usually I edit the converse... Oh my god, did you win? Yeah. High five. Um, usually I work on editing the discussion first, and then add in the little gameplay moments as they are needed. That's, that's done. Uh, Jack, do you wish you could be rich? Nobody wishes they could be rich. If, if that meant me being this good at Punch-Out, you know. Uh, no. <laughs> You've got so many nice things in your life. <laughs> you have nice things in your life, too. The, the credits, Jack? Minigame. It's a minigame? What do you do? Well, some of the letters are, like, backwards. And, and like, see that H is upside down? Yeah. There's a four instead of an A. You have to punch the... the... You have to punch the incorrect thing? Yes. Like an exclamation point instead of an I. Upside down H. That's fine. Yeah. And then the box removes. So it's here! <laughs> ah, it's oh, you missed both. I tried. <laughs> Time for checkers. <laughs> it's a little bit more I want to do this one. Yeah. Also, I can't believe that people are still wondering what that song is that we use at the end of the pre rec episodes. It's just like a YouTube stock song. It's it's called Do or Die by Stuart Boogie or Boogie by Stuart Boogie. 
It's been answered a zillion times. Stuart Boogie, do or die. Um, do we pick games based on personal preference? Yes. I think things that look interesting. Um, yeah. Like Jack will pick. I'll pick. Yeah, we usually we try to agree. Yeah, and we should also try to find something we think other people might be interested in. Yeah. Whereas, like, like for example, Invisible Ink is is a game I would normally say no to, but that led to a greater early access discussion. Yeah. So I was okay with that because it gave us something to talk about, even though there wasn't a ton of gameplay to comment on. It gave us something to talk about. Um. Like, Mario Kart is just a game I was getting no matter what, and it was a bigger title, so yeah, we do Mario Kart. Like, Titanfall was a bigger title, so we wanted to do that. Sonic. Basically, we try to mix it up. Yeah. Classic, newer, indie, bigger. Yeah. So, like, Guacamelee is another indie, so after Guacamelee, we're going to have to think of another bigger title to do. Yeah. Because. Oh, my God. You're, you blocked my. Oh, I thought this. Um, after Guacamelee, we're going to have to think of another big title to do, and the numbers reflect. If anyone ever wonders, like, why game reviewers or movie reviewers choose to do the big titles, because the numbers reflect it. <laughs> I really liked our Invisible Ink episode. Yeah. I think it's a really fine episode. Is it like four views? <laughs> but if you compare that one with the Sonic episode... The internet has spoken that we should only do controversial episodes of classic games. <laughs> and we don't want to do that. Like, the Sonic episode was a fun one to do. That, no, that, that wasn't perfect. We knew it would be, but you had that was your genuine opinion. You really wanted to do that episode. I did. I yeah. wanted to have that conversation, and I thought it was a very good conversation. We did not do Sonic just because it would be clickbait. Knowing the internet, of course I fucking knew it was clickbait. But... That's not why we did the episode. I thought it was a good discussion. But so, our next game will be a bigger game, just so we can try to maintain a stable audience. And the bigger games bring in the audience. Unfortunately. Did you ever did you ever beat Mike Tyson? In the original Punch-Out? <sighs> yes. I, I did in my adulthood. It was one of the proudest moments of my life. <laughs> you but, but no, the game ends there, right? Yeah. This, you have to defend your title. Hey, great work, Mac. Yeah, now let's that's take great. Yeah. yeah, you go through that's everybody that's again, that's and they're much that's harder. It, that's great. Push it out, Mac. Come on, push it out. We're not. It, it effectively doubles the number, the number of boxers. That's awesome. By the way, we're not doing Destiny. I don't give a fuck about Destiny. I don't give a fuck Keep about it. I, nobody can explain to me why that is, game is interesting. Yeah. What is unique about it? What is special about it? I just don't give a fuck. So. Even though Destiny would be the... And it wouldn't get out in time. No, by the time we actually... By the time we get done with Guacamelee and by the time we get done with Destiny, it wouldn't be out in time. But it will be a bigger game. Whatever big game... It, it looks perfectly generic and passable. I'm sure it's fine. What was the big... There was a, there was a great article on Kotaku the other day that... It's an look at Glass Joe. Oh, he's got a helmet he, on? He gets to wear a helmet. <laughs> so you... You, you can't punch him in the face, because it just does nothing. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah. That, uh, because of middling review scores, Bungie is, like, missing out on a bonus. Oh, for Destiny? Yeah, for Destiny. That's getting middling scores, huh? Yeah. It's, it's that, 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 that's, that's how it looks. It looks like it's fine, acceptable. So, we're not going to do Destiny, but yes, we will choose another... Triple A title or whatever. We'll probably do it. We'll probably do another big recent title, and then uh, and then another retro game. That'll that'll be next. I don't know if I have any more. I don't know if I have any more controversial opinions on retro titles. <laughs> Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I know, I know. 
This is this is where the rust factor is coming. Now, I, normally, I can I can destroy title defense blast Joe, but it's been years since I've really played. I think it's funny that he gets a helmet. Yeah. That's great. If you, you know, this is a little known thing in this game, if you lose a hundred times, yeah. you get to go hundred. <laughs> is that true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's a game patting you on the Yes, yes. No, you can keep playing. <laughs> I just like the idea that he is a professional boxer facing <laughs> the champion of the world and he puts on a fucking helmet. <laughs> Oh my god, you're right, I do have a controversial opinion on a retro game. Doom! Oh yeah, yeah! I think Doom is ugly. I think you're a monster. <laughs> He's coming back down twice! Son of a bitch! This is bullshit. Oh man, do an episode on how shitty Final Fantasy IX is. That'll be quick. Oh fuck! Oh god, Final any Final. The thought of doing any one of those makes me want to throw up. Yeah, I've played I've played a lot of the Final Fantasy games. They're, you know, they're fine. I I just I have a, I always have a problem with the. I always have a problem when you get to the grind. You can't beat the boss until you grind for levels. And then get out of the way. Let's see here. Doom is a national hero. I listen. Listen, I understand the importance of Doom. That doesn't mean that it hasn't aged well. <laughs> it's aged fine, Jack. You're the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Rich. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine if we did one of the Final Fantasy games for a stream? That would be the most boring stream. Yeah. We'll do that for one of our, like, 36-hour charity streams. Is there anything duller than classic RPG combat? Ah, you know. And then they ask you to grind on top of it being boring combat. I'm okay. I, I don't like any classic RPGs for that reason. The combat is just terrible. No. But you click attack over and over again to so win or don't have enough health. I can get into that. Like, I can hate classic turn-based combat RPG style. Like, I can get into some of that. It's it's when it's when the grind starts to happen. After. All all of those RPGs have grind. Yes. Yes. I agree. Here, this combat's unfun. Why did you do it eight thousand times to get to the next level? I got my glass jar right back. Wait, what? Jack, I'm taking my money out of the Patreon because of you, Jack. Jack, God, Jack. I have nothing to do with the Patreon. Why are you taking it out of the Patreon? Take it out of the Twitch stream. Yeah, no shit. I don't do nothing for the Patreon. <laughs> Jack, what game do you think has the most unwarranted sequels? Well, I... Dynasty Warriors? I think that's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think we already figured that out. Like, <laughs> unwarranted sequels. That's a weird question. This game that wasn't good in the first place, but keeps going on and on and on and on. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know. I almost want to say Assassin's Creed, but that game might get really good. I can't get past the first part. It's so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first Assassin's Creed was all right. They had some good ideas. But I, I can never get very far into it because I just got lost. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a little dull. I, I, I actually, had, uh, the first Assassin's Creed, I, I, I've... Whoa, I stopped talking for a little bit. I thought the first Assassin's Creed was really good and had some neat ideas that they needed to flesh out, and then the subsequent sequels have chosen every other not good idea to flesh out. So... Oh, oh, oh. oh, just a devil. Okay. Pikachu, what? I'll fucking do Pokemon. 
We can talk about Pokemon. Pokemon all day. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. You know what? The weird thing, the Resident, the original Resident Evil games were never, were never a favorite of mine. I really liked Resident Evil 4. Was that the one that came out originally on the GameCube? Um, I want to say Chris Hadfield or not? Yeah, Chris Hadfield. I don't recall. I've never paid that much attention to Resident Evil games. <laughs> Listen, Twitch players, Pokemon, settle down. There's gonna be no Pokemon hype for you. Although I love Pokemon. <laughs> I've never played Pokemon. Rich has never played Pokemon. I, I was an adult when Pokemon started coming out. Me too. <laughs> I still fucking love Pokemon. I just, I just don't get any warm nostalgic feelings from this franchise. No, I fucking Pokemon. But also, you don't like RPG turn based combat. Yeah. Pokemon gets it. Pokemon gets it! I fucking love Pokemon. I'm not saying that's gonna be our our classic our classic game previously recorded clickbait episode. No, I mean, we can. I, I, I'm not saying I'll hate it, I'm just. I've never played one of them. It was, Hey, kind of Mac clearly baby. aimed towards young, a younger audience, yeah. and I was, I was either in high school or college when that, that shit started coming out. Yeah, so was I. No, I was younger. I'm younger than you. Um, I I only played Pokemon as an adult, and I <laughs> loved it. All right. All right. I love the shit out of it. Kingdom Hearts? You know what? I couldn't get into Kingdom Hearts. I know that's a very popular franchise. I just... But... Like... I'm gonna burp. Excuse me. So, Kingdom Hearts is a game that I did not much enjoy. Uh, but I absolutely understand why they're sequels. You know. Final Fantasy characters, Disney characters, it's a great premise, I just didn't much uh, enjoy the game. Um, I don't know, I just, it never felt like the combat was very samey, and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a Kingdom Hearts person. But I completely understand all of the sequels to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Star Wars? Kingdom Hearts Star Wars, yeah, they could. They could do that now. Good Star Wars characters in the Kingdom Hearts games. Chrono Trigger? Yeah, Chrono Trigger's alright. What? All these classic RPGs that I can't stomach. You can't get into RPGs? Not, not. Story is an, an exploration of fine. It, it's the, the horrible, dull combat. Quick attack, and then you do it thirty thousand times because of leveling. Yeah. Yeah. I think there there are RPGs that don't have the grind. You know, where leveling where leveling feels natural and and is fluid with the story. That's that's one of the things that the Pokemon series does really well. Is there are very there are very few times where you feel like you have to grind. You know, you can you can go through the story of the game without grinding for levels. Mm -hmm. It's all a natural progression. Getting new Pokemon, learning moves, leveling up as you go. I mean, I like exploring the towns. Yeah. I like talking to the townspeople. Yeah. I just say you got your guys on the left and your guys on the right. Yeah. And click. Highlight attack. Next turn, highlight attack. Yeah. Next turn, highlight attack. Yeah. Next turn, highlight attack. Next turn, highlight attack. Yeah, but there's more to it than that. You know, there's like, you can give them status, ailments, and that has to affect what you do. 99% of the time, the most efficient thing you can do is click on attack every single fucking turn. I hate classic RPG combat. We're gonna play some Pokemon while you do. You and me. We're gonna play some Pokemon. Alright. Oh, Disco Kid. He's not one to jazzercise. Mm. No, Pokemon is not like the definition of grinding. Grinding 
is when you're is when you're no longer playing the story of the game. You are just you're just going for levels. Is when you're just raising numbers, endless battles to raise numbers. In Pokemon, as you follow the story, as you get new Pokemon, as you level up your own Pokemon, it's all it's all part of the journey. There's never any stopping just to make numbers. I'm, you know, unless you're really bad and have bad Pokemon. No, get your timing on, dog. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I should be kicking his ass, but I'm not. Oh. Oh god! <laughs> his jazzer size is all layer. <laughs> oh, that's not Uh, I listen. I guess you know my definition of grinding. I listen. I know Pokemon is not a roguelike. You also the definition of roguelike has bended over the years. Get over it. Games that are now called rogue roguelike would not have been called rogue roguelike 20 years ago. But in any case. What was I going to say about the grind? I, my, my definition of the grind is when you are just raising numbers and not concerned about the story elements. Obviously, as you're leveling, there's like a cricket in there. You should have stopped the game? No, oh no, I saw it. Probably. I have a three-step program for you. Jack is I off on a cricket hunt. Fall down, I win. Gives a shit. Leave it alone. Gives a shit. Okay. It's just a cricket. He's standing in the middle of the floor. Yeah. He's crawling around. You can crush him if you want. Whatever. I, don't know, I left him alone. Fabulous. I could teach you how to do one, robots. Grinding doesn't necessarily have one definition. I agree. I agree. But so, like, leveling is not the same as grinding. The grind is when it's work. So, again, the stream jack cricket hunt is happening. He should be dead by now. He really should. <laughs> Did I offend Wish Place for you? With what? With your dislike of Pokemon? No, no, I don't think. My ambivalence. Your ambivalence towards Pokemon? It, I mean, it's it's weird. Yeah. Usually, Pokemon is a general like, but that's okay. You can have your opinion. What? Put the cricket in a jar and put the jar next to the mic. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Go for it, Jack. I'm not gonna. Did he, did he die? Oh! Yeah, that happens. Okay. <laughs> Chrome ran out of memory. Oh, but we're still straight. Yeah, yeah, we're still straight. That's just my chrome. It, ha it, it happened on a recent stream. It's, it's what happens when we've been streaming for, you know, a bazillion hours. Huh? Three... Three and a half hours. That's so, are we, are we going to let me go until I die? What's the deal here? If you want to. We're just hanging out. You go as long as you want to go. Okay. You do what you do, dog.